This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. That being said, do not make any financial decisions based on any information you receive in this video. Please do your own due diligence and own research before making any financial decisions. If you like or enjoy these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notification button so that you're the first one to get my very interesting videos. Okay, that being said, you have the hedge funds, you got the market makers, you got mainstream media. All they have is negative things to say about AMC. Negative. Negative things to say about the movie industry. But every month, the numbers keep proving them wrong. Every month, the numbers get better and better and better. Every month, we keep breaking box office records with beautiful releases, with beautiful movies, with beautiful numbers. Okay? October brings up best month at the domestic box office during pandemic with 638 million. That's right. 638 million. And this is just ticket revenue. This has nothing to do with the revenue generated in popcorn, candy, nachos, and all the other things that, that we, we, we tend to spend our money on when we're in the movie theater. Okay? Comscore this morning reports that the October domestic box office clocked $638 million, the highest month to date during the pandemic, beating July's $583.8 million. Okay? 75% of, of October's figure was driven by major studio event picks, Sony's Venom, Let There Be Carnage, MGM United Artists releasing No Time to Die, Universal Bloomhouse, Merrimax Halloween Kills, and Warner Brothers Legendary's Doom. Okay? Streaming is great. Streaming is convenient. But there's nothing like an actual movie experience. You go there with your family, you go there with your friends, and not only your family and friends, the additional people in the audience, they change the dynamic. The energy that's in a movie theater is very different from streaming it at home. I mean, the, you can't even compare the actual movie experience to streaming inside your living room. Not the same experience at all. And Adam Aaron, he is taking us into the 22nd century. He's having brilliant ideas to move us into the 22nd century, brilliant ideas to keep AMC profitable. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to keep buying the dips and holding my AMC shares. I believe that AMC is going to MOAS, and I believe after the MOAS, AMC is still going to be a very profitable company and continue generating revenues well into the 22nd and 23rd century. Um, please, I'd like your comments on this. I'd like to know what you think about the direction of AMC. Please leave comments below. Once again, subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed the information I provide today. Thank you very much and have a great day.